Hey Freedom Fighters, this is Kala here at Students for Free Tibet International Headquarters bringing you a special report. Uh, today is March 15th, Saturday, uh, 2008. It's the second day of Tibetan solidarity protests that have gripped the city of New York as well as in other cities all over the world in solidarities with Tibetan, uh, Tibetans inside of Tibet um, from Lhasa to Labrang to Litang, um, as well as with Tibetans inside of India. Uh, this is an account both in English and in Tibetan of what happened here today in New York City. This morning around uh, like 11 or and a lot of you know like uh, people have frustration because of that you know like they have like you know, throw a stone on Chinese uh, embassy window so the police came and you know like you know, there's a lot of you know back and forth going on so around like 10 to 15 people were uh, two people were arrested I think that's because of frustration in what happening in China so we urge all media and world leader to uh, help Tibet an issue and support for our cause and stop killing in Tibet. Thank you very much and free Tibet. Show my support to the Tibetans in Tibet, in Nepal, in uh, Dharamsala, all around the world, and show that you're not the only ones fighting, and that we're standing here in solidarity with you. And the pain that you're enduring right now by the Chinese government uh, isn't lost, and, and, and we know and we care, and we'll do something about it. And um, and my message to to China and to the world is that we're watching you, and and. The world needs to take action because we have to be outstanding citizens and uh, the U.S. especially. We said that we have to help those who can't help themselves and this is a perfect situation for that. Tibetans can't help themselves right now and there's six million against however many billion Chinese and um, and it's unfair and it's not right and, and China's committed crimes and, and the world needs to know that. And that's why we're here. We're standing here because hopefully ABC will show us or hopefully CNBC will show us and, and people will get it and realize that they're not forgotten and that this cause is still important to, to people around the world. New York, New Jersey, and today we are here. We are here in the sense it's not the ego organizer. Everybody, it's 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 a spontaneous public response to the incident that happened in Tibet, but where where there is no human rights at all. People, China suppressed Tibet and take what call for 50 years, and because of these 50 years suppressed, people came out so spontaneous. That's going to be very 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 difficult for the China if they don't address the issue right
rightly that this type of what we call the demonstration and the public outcome is not a what we call the this means what we call it's a logical that they come out spontaneously and it and today the, the, the people come out the people they, because of the emotion they rush into the chinese embassy they, they uh, some of the what we call the window panes are blown off and the, 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 the police they what we call uh, respond very police response by the excessive force actually this should not happen that way but we are we regret police response but if, we hope it will not ha happen in future so this is going to going to happen this really going to happen people spread uh, what call spontaneous response the such type of response will be will be continue till the china give some what we call uh, till china it get address the issue correctly thank you Can you explain what happened? Yeah, we were peacefully protesting here and the police came from behind and pushed me back us to the ground. Thank you. Thank you.